What's going on guys? Gios now right here. Today a new version of the Phoenix Jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 32-bit has been released uh, and it's available now on phoenixpound.com and I'm going to talk about it. So uh, if you navigate here to phoenixpound.com you're going to see their uh, website and um, there is a new section called changelog in which you can see what's been changed. If you download you're going to download the uh, phoenix 3.ipa which is version 3. Now um, the developers, Teamstar and Saigusa, have added the uh, the following um, section in here where you can check the uh, SAJ sum for the um, IPA and here is the command you need to use. This is to prevent, you know, downloading a uh, corrupt file. You can check it after you download it to make sure it matches this number in here. If this command doesn't um, return the same thing in here, then your download has been corrupted or it's incomplete or stuff related and you need to download it again. If the um, issue persists, you need to contact the developers. Anyways, this is a good a feature to have in here to check these things up. Okay, now um, in order to install it, you need to follow my previous tutorial from yesterday, available in here, on how to install this jailbreak. This jailbreak works on all 32 bit devices, of course, um, except the um, Apple TV, and uh, that is, of course, on iOS 9.3.5. And in order to jailbreak, of course, you need to be on 32 bit, 64 bit is not supported. Now, uh, as I say, tutorial is available in the description down below. We're going to cover what's changed. Now, in the version two posted yesterday on uh, August 7, uh, they have removed problematic binaries that resulted in multiple script breaking, thanks to an Angel X wind, and then fix the problem with launch demons, not starting after re breaking, fixes a problem with mixtape player, where Relytix did not display correctly using dark mode, fixes a problem in mixtape player again, where seeking would result in graphical glitches, better not lag track 12 now appears correctly in mixtape player and temporarily disable dark mode in mixtape player by firmly pressing the app icon and choosing mixtape player. And in this version that's been posted literally a couple minutes ago, they fixed custom offsets. Now, if you navigate here on Teamstar's uh, Twitter, he posted a couple minutes ago, Phoenix version three fixes custom offsets feature. You can try to recover from changed system version with offsets and he gives you the uh, the addresses, phoenixpound.com slash A5 or A6 for these offsets. So if you navigate here, for example, A5, you're going to see all the uh, addresses in here. That's a uh, little feature in there. And uh, a lot of people are asking me whether you can use Cool Booter with Phoenix, um, you know, Phoenix Jailbreak or not. Yes, you can use uh, Cool Booter in order to do a boot on your device. And uh, you can do that since it's a 32 bit device and this jailbreak has task for PID zero. Now, um, being a 32 bit device is compatible with K Loader and it's compatible with Cool Booter itself, so you can do that. Now, uh, a lot of people are asking me whether you can actually um, downgrade using this jailbreak, I mean, without any SH, SH blocks. And unfortunately, that is not possible. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's basically it about this new uh, Phoenix version. It's always okay to run the uh, the latest version, so go ahead and download and uh, of course update your jailbreak application. And also a little note in here, um, the developers, both Saigusa and uh, Teamstar, which you should be following by now, are recommending you not to take any IPA or any download link from other sources rather than phoenixjailbreak.com because they might be bundled with malware or massively out of date. As you can see, these guys in here are updating the uh, the jailbreak each and every time. For example, we have the initial update on uh, August 7, then you have uh, the version 2 on August 7, a couple hours after the initial release, and then today on August 8, you have another version, the version 3. So these uh, mirrors in there are not keeping up with the latest version, and you might you might be downloading a uh, massively outdated version. That is, of course, very bad, and if you don't do that, you might as well download malware, which can easily be bundled with these jailbreak applications. So keep that in mind. Only download from phoenixpound.com. I know that it's you know convenient to actually go ahead on, on this signing website and download it from Safari and not install it with Cydia Impactor, but you're exposing your device to a big security risk by downloading from unknown sources and it's really it's really not worth. You know, so yeah, that's basically it. Go ahead and follow the developers, both Team Star and Saguza, and also a uh, real KGC member. And um, till the next time, I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.